Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's take a look at Land Rover's Cruise Steering Assist. First of all, let's look at the instrument panel menu settings. There are now three steering assists available on the Land Rover. These are Cruise Steering Assist that we will look at today, Blind Spot Assist, and Lane Keep Assist we've seen before. All three steering assist settings are in driver assistance. Under the collision avoidance there is a blind spot assist and you can activate the steering assist here. Second, there's a lane keep assist in the steering assistance. Finally, here's a new cruise steering assist you'll find today. Each can be activated individually or all at once. Once you have activated all three steering assists in the instrument panel menu, you must finally activate them by pressing the Lane Departure Warning System button on the right side of the steering wheel. The Lane Keep Assist and Cruise Steering Assist gray warning lights are now visible in the lower left corner of the instrument panel, and the Lane Keep Assist setting in the instrument panel menu is activated in white. Select Steering Assist here. Now, if you select Lane Keep Assist again, you will see only the Lane Keep Assist gray warning light in the lower left corner of the instrument panel. Even if you select Cruise Steering Assist, selecting both will activate both Steering Assist gray warning lights. Then, let's look at the display settings. The information panel has driver assistance and you can see all three steering assists here. In addition to the Lane Keep Assist and Cruise Steering Assist, which can be seen with the gray warning light at the bottom left of the instrument panel, you can also see the Blind Spot Assist. Information such as driver assistance in the information panel can be found not only in the middle of the two dials but also in the information panel on the left side of the one dial. In addition to the 2-in-1 dial information panels, driver assistance also provides a full-screen display of the instrument panel. Disabling the Lane Departure Warning System button on the right side of the steering wheel will also disable all three steering assists. Therefore, the Steering Wheel Lane Departure Warning System button must be activated in addition to the instrument panel menu settings. If the Terrain Response Drive program is selected as one of the offloads and offload information in the display settings is active, only the offload information remains visible in the instrument panel. Therefore, you should disable off-road information or select one of the general driving programs to view driver assistance information like this. Now that everything is ready, let's go for a test ride. If you press the Set Plus button at a speed of 22 km or more, the Cruise Steering Assist is automatically activated along with the Adaptive Cruise Control. The gray warning light on the instrument panel and the steering wheel are also green. Cruise Steering Assist cannot be used individually and must be used with Adaptive Cruise Control. For more information on Adaptive Cruise Control, please refer to the last video on our channel. Then I'll take my hand off the steering wheel. Currently, the road is slightly curved to the right and you can see the steering wheel moving autonomously along the road. The vehicle goes to the left of the lane, then enters the middle of the lane again and remains stable. If you don't hold the steering wheel for a while, along with a beep, the instrument panel prompts you to hold the steering wheel. If you hold the steering wheel in accordance with the guidance, both the warning sound and the guidance on the instrument panel will disappear. Currently, we are not selecting Lane Keep Assist, only Cruise Steering Assist. If you don't hold the steering wheel for a while, like when using only the Lane Keep Assist, along with a beep, the instrument panel prompts you to hold the steering wheel. I press the OK button to delete the guidance on the instrument panel and continue driving with only a beep. After a while, the green warning light and steering wheel will be grayed out. When you hold the steering wheel, it is activated again green. This time, I tried with the vehicle at a rather high speed. As in the case of a slightly slower vehicle, you can see a stable driving without leaving the lane along a slightly curved road. If the vehicle in front slows down, your vehicle will slow down as well, and will move along the lane well. 
To change lanes, turn on the turn signal regardless of speed and drive the steering wheel yourself. At this time, cruise steering assist is deactivated for a while, but is automatically re-enabled after completing the lane change. Cruise steering assist remains active regardless of the vehicle's speed, as long as the vehicle's sensor detects the lane well. Due to traffic congestion, the vehicle stops completely and does not deactivate with adaptive cruise control even when stopped for a while. Stop and go is when the vehicle stops completely and starts again. If the vehicle in front moves again within 5 seconds, it automatically restarts, but if it is more than that, you need to press the Excel pedal lightly once. This is called Q Assist. With the adaptive cruise control stop and go and Q Assist, the cruise steering assist remains active even when the vehicle is completely stopped and departs again. Even when the vehicle in front doesn't drive straight in the middle of the lane, my vehicle keeps driving in the middle of the lane. Then, I will also activate the lane keep assist this time. Prior to departure, you could choose either lane keep assist or cruise steering assist from steering assistant in the instrument panel menu, but you could also select both. Even when both is selected, as in the case of selecting each steering assist separately, some functions that do not satisfy the activation condition may be deactivated like this. However, it is automatically activated when all activation conditions are met. Now I've activated all three steering assists, including lane keep assist. Keep in mind that the Lane Keep Assist and Cruise Steering Assist are in the Steering Assistant settings you just saw, but the Blind Spot Assist is in the Collision Avoidance setup. When the Blind Spot Assist is activated, a red line is displayed on the instrument panel and an orange warning light is also displayed. If the orange warning light is not visible and only the red line is visible, the Lane Keep Assist is activated. By activating all three steering assists as described above, a more stable driving is possible. Cruise steering assist can be used at any speed. However, it must be used in conjunction with adaptive cruise control. Lane keep assist and blind spot assist are activated at speeds above 70 km and disabled at speeds below 64 km. The cruise steering assist moves continuously along the middle of the lane. Lane keep assist only moves briefly when the vehicle is about to leave the lane. Blind spot assist helps you avoid changing lanes only when there is a vehicle in the next lane. Therefore, these three steering assists prevent collision with other vehicles and help you drive well along the lane without leaving the lane. In addition, the adaptive cruise control allows the driver to speed up or down or stop automatically without stepping on the accelerator or brake pedal. This allows the driver to autonomously drive with hands and feet free. In this video, we only hold the steering wheel for a moment when we hear a beep. If you hold on to the steering wheel, you will feel the force of continuous movement as if someone were holding the steering wheel to help. It feels stable because the power is not transmitted only when the steering wheel needs to be moved but because it constantly feels fine movements. If necessary, the vehicle will be obeyed if the driver moves the steering wheel with direct force. This time, I will deliberately try to leave the lane at low speed. When you turn and release the steering wheel at an angle away from the lane, the steering wheel will automatically move in the opposite direction to correct the lane and make fine adjustments to enter the center of the lane. Let's do it again. This time, the bus in front changed the lane the moment I deliberately tried to leave the lane. Despite the fact that the adaptive cruise control's tracking mode has been deactivated for a while, the vehicle stably enters the middle of the lane. It follows the newly detected front truck in tracking mode and controls the speed to drive well in the middle of the lane. This stable speed control and steering assist are well controlled even at high speeds, such as at low speeds. This time, let's drive on the S-shaped course at high speed. Not only in the solid line, but also in the shaded and strong sunlight we are driving stably. 
Various driving environments do not affect autonomous driving more than expected. However, please be careful as you will leave the lane without any warning on a curve with a lot of angles. Cruise Steering Assist is a driver assistance function. The driver's eyes must always face the road and both hands must hold the steering wheel. So far, we have learned more about Cruise Steering Assist. Please note that the Cruise Steering Assist has been newly applied in 2020 vehicles. In the next video, we will learn about internet connections such as SIM card and Wi-Fi. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.